Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. As the recording of this, it is Thursday, July 27th, 2023. I'm standing here in Denver, Colorado, or at least in the general vicinity of Denver, Colorado, on the plains of the Colorado, roamed a giant cowboy. He traveled across the land, herding the cattle from town to town. Upon seeing Bear Creek, the giant rested along and called the water's edge his home. A big sombrero guy with a big boot right here. This is huge. There's one of these kind of similar to this. There is a lady laying on the ground in Orlando near Lake Eola, but this is in Colorado. Yard work taking place. I cannot escape it. What's on the game plan today? We're winging it. We're winging it in Denver. We're gonna wing it in Denver. There's a video oh. store you want to take me yeah. to. Old school video store. And maybe some other secret spots you have up your sleeve. A couple. A couple things you haven't even told me that you we're gonna go see. You haven't heard about them yet. You like to keep things hush hush yeah, yeah. on the down low. Maybe I'll tell you guys, but I won't tell Adam. Hey, hold this. Oh. Hold this. I'm gonna go over here. Oh. All right. What we got in store? Can you hear me? Okay, you can't hear me. What we've got in store for Adam is I've actually got to drop by Rocky's Stadium and drop up. All right, what's he saying? What, uh, what did he say? Tell I, me. I didn't even finish. All right. It's all right. No, we'll get to it. I'm inviting you to join me in Denver Gym. Shall we? And I must say, this was quite the, this was quite the adventure trying to even find this. So you can get to the park, but you have to do like a little hike. There's a secret driveway on. That's not that secret. Yeah. There's a driveway, but one it took driveway. only one we way. We were driving to to around for a while to find this. I think this is a slide. I think this is a slide right here. Look at the size of that boot. So what do the locals call this? They just call it sombrero guy. I guess so. Sombrero guy. Look at all the heel marks from everybody, almost like you coming down the slide on your bike. All right. That's a pretty steep drop. You remember right the bike? You remember I, me on the bike? I do, indeed. I, I, remember the bike. That slide's not there anymore, is it? They, they got rid of the took slide. Yeah. They saw your video and took it out. Oh, this is a slide. Look. That is a slide. It's a slide. How hot is this, though? Oh, my gosh. This has got to be scorched. Aye, aye, aye. That is what you say. Aye, toasty. Aye, aye, aye. Oh, wow. Wow. Does this bring you back memories of your bike? Should I? <laughs> no. I'm about to do something really <laughs> ignorant. Uh, <laughs> this is for posterity. That? That's a little toasty on the old high knee there. That is cool. That was not as bad as the bike slide. You didn't go down the main slide. That's pretty neat. That's awesome. All right, let's get going. So, video store first. Let's do it. Let's get the video. What's it called? Video, video. Double the video. Double video. Let's do it. So, this is Bear Creek. Now, put a little note on yesterday's video. We ate at a restaurant called The Cow, which was over in Morrison. Was it Morrison? Morrison. And ru this runs through Morrison. Yeah. So this is, I asked the question to myself yesterday what lake it was. River. We called it Red, yeah, River, Red Rocks River, which is, not in, which is not correct. In fact, it is Bear, Bear Creek. And it's not named after the animal, it's after a guy's last name. Who knew? Who knew? This is very beautiful and peaceful here. Is it cold? It's not bad. It'd be perfect tubing temperature. Well, tubing temperature. Tubin temperature. Now see, in Florida, any body of water is going to have gators in it. You don't have Colorado gators here, right? No, sir. So I look at this. In Florida, I would just assume... Oh, there goes a snake! No. A snake right here. Look. Oh, yeah. A snaky snake. I see it. Little guy. He's hightailing it. Where did he go? He's gone. Gone. Did he hit the rapids? Gone. 
I was talking about gators and I saw. Are you reaching for some snakes? I, I got a treasure under here. What is it? Oh, look at that. An old school pull tab. On the corner of Broadway and Hamden is a place called Mango Tree. It was a mango tree coffee. We're gonna walk over there in a minute. But more fascinating than a piping hot caffeinated beverage, I know it's tough to believe that there is something more fascinating than coffee, is this future style home that is now a bank. Or it just looks almost <laughs> looks like the bean. Let's probably get out of the road. It looks like the bean in Chicago. Look at this. There's cutlery on the streets here. Now, is this a suburb of Denver, or would you call this Denver proper? Like, I call this Inglewood. Inglewood. Is it really Inglewood? I think it is Inglewood. Well, there's I an mean, Inglewood in so LA. Many also, fingers that Denver, Lakewood, Inglewood, Sheridan, they all kind of merge in here. Have you ever had mango tree coffee? No. I'm about to I get don't you drink one. coffee. Excuse me? I, I know, you got the camera. I don't drink coffee. Yeah, look at this. You can see our reflection. It's like something out of a movie right here. It's like choreographed perfectly of us walking across. So I guess I could just buy you all water? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Let's do it. Oh, we're you, have you ever had a coffee? Um, no, not You've really. You've never had a coffee? No. Do you like hot beverages? Like hot cocoa? Yeah, I do like cocoa. Do you like mangoes? No. Weird, I'm just striking out on all fronts here. So as I was in there, I asked if the coffee had a mango flavor, and no, just a clever name, mango tree coffee. And they have one of the little display boards that give clever sayings, kind of like they have at the Starbucks Roastery when I went to the one in Seattle, they have one of those. Not that this is Starbucks, but all the merch. And this is in fact Inglewood confirmed by the the writing here, the information about the company itself. I think this is an artistic representation of that futuristic home that's now a bank. Right? right. I think you're right. Look at that. Look over there, look over there. Back and forth. Look at that. There it is in real fashion right there. And there it is in artistic form right beside me here on Broadway. They say the neon lights are bright. On Broadway. Is there neon lights on this Broadway? I am amazed you've never had a cup of coffee. I kind of like that. Yeah. All right, as we're cruising along, I'm in the passenger seat. Got my coffee here. I also wanted to show this hat that Jim has had for a long time. Signed this for his son, like what, six years ago? At least. The old, the old uh, Daily Woo hat. It doesn't even exist anymore. But I'm noticing my signature here, and it looks, Tim signed it also. Uh, I think my signature <laughs> is a little better than Tim's. <laughs> I don't know, mine's a little, I don't know, maybe. That's Tim's signature? That's Tim's signature. All right, I wonder if Tim still signs his stuff like that. I hope not. I'm gonna ask him. <laughs> I'm gonna call Tim right now and say, is this your signature? Let's do it. Ah, I love these wacky balloon figures. This one is dressed up as a clown. Video Video is the name of this place. Over 50,000 DVDs in stock. You want it? They got it, according to the sign, right here in this little strip mall. Video, video, they are open. And this is technically in Aurora, Colorado, outskirts of Denver. DVDs a dollar and up. They buy, sell, trade. Let's see if we can find anything in here. Open six days a week. Not sure which six days, but six days a week. Closed on Sundays. All right, my first impression of walking in this place is how expansive and impressive it is. So it starts, the entrance is over that way, but then it stretches all the way down here. There's like a thrift store inside the movie store as well, all the way down here. And as any good video store would have back in the day, it has an adult section. Even got some Nintendo games here. Jack Nichol Jack Nicholas Golf, John Elway's quarterback, Tonka trucks, old train sets. This place is massive. The Power Ranger. Even laser discs. Whole section of laser discs here. 
All dogs go to heaven. Empire, $40 for Empire Laserdisc. Now I have not seen Blu-ray section as of yet, so there's a lot of DVDs through here. But then you get past in the far corner, there's an entire, probably like 500, 1,000, maybe more than 1,000 VHS section. And all the video cassettes are only a quarter. 25 cents for VHS. So anyone that's kind of like nostalgia driven has a VCR, a quarter each for VHS. That's pretty inexpensive when it comes to VHS because some VHS are worth a lot of money now. All right, I passed by the Blu-rays when I was over in this corner before. So here's all the Blu-rays. So D DVDs without a sticker price are 488. I don't know how much the blue the Blu-rays. Oh, this is 588. So still pretty, pretty decently priced through here. All the Harry Potter films as well, Hunger Games things like that. Now this is a film I have not thought about in like 30 years, Baby Secret of the Lost Legend. And I had totally forgotten that Sean Young was in it. Look at that, wow. He used to work at a video store a long time ago. And even in the 80s, this is a cross between Raiders of the Lost Ark and E.T. I don't know if I'd go that far, but here's a classic. I actually own this on Blu-ray already. Vanilla Ice, cool as ice. Drop that zero. Get with the hero. How can you not love that? Oh, you have found a friend right here. The, oh, the original McDonald, the happiest hamburger clown in here. Now, there were a couple movies I was looking for on Blu-ray that don't see in here, but did pick up this. Well, I'm gonna buy this. Ford Apache for 988. John Ford classic here. Do not own this, so I'll pick up a little classic Western and see what else I can find. So definitely like this place so much, definitely wanna support place and buy an item or two while in here than just being a looky loo. Ooh, I found another good one. So not only, I still, I used to own Apocalypse Now on DVD, moved a couple times, never repurchased it on Blu-ray, love Apocalypse Now. So this has all three, Apocalypse Now, Apocalypse Now the Redux, but also the documentary Hearts of Darkness, which I've been trying to find for a while. Okay, that's what I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get that Hearts of Darkness, the Apocalypse Now three movie set and Ford Apache, some good stuff in here. All right, that was awesome. So no rentals in here. What'd you get? See if any of your viewers have ever seen Tulane Blacktop. 2988 Criterion Collection. James Taylor as the driver, Warren Oates as GTO. I don't think I've even seen it. And then you got a cassette tape. Dennis Wilson as the mechanic. Whoa, for Beach Boys. Yep, and I got an old cassette. Well, John Cougar. Mellencamp. Singing about life in a small town. You got it. He was born in a small town. Mm -hmm. What'd you get? I got Apocalypse and Fort Apache. Oh. John Wayne? John Wayne. We now made the commute to downtown Denver. See the skyline off in the distance and we are heading to Coors Field for a little pit stop. I'm just tagging along, I'm along for the ride. We're over here on the little overpass and there's no game today. Just gonna pop in for a brief moment. A little pit stop for an undisclosed reason. Well, I'll tell you the reason. I'll tell Chewbacca? you the reason. What, what's going on is on Saturday is Star Wars theme night at Coors Stadium. And I need to ask them if I can wear my mask in to the Star Wars theme night. What do you think? So you're just gonna go knock on the knock on the course field door and ask for the big guy. All right, you can talk to head honcho. The emperor. The emperor. The emperor of course. Good. Good. <laughs> the last time I was at Coors Field, I've never seen the Rays at Coors Field, but the Rays are playing here next year, 2024. We should go. There'd be we another be another stadium I could knock off my list. Now, when I'm doing all my baseball, eventually I'm gonna, by the end of next year, I'm gonna go to all 30 current stadiums while watching the Rays play. So I don't count Coors Field as one of those. Whoa, Chewy, you almost, you almost went through that yellow light. Glad you stopped. I, I had to stop. Yeah, you almost turned to the dark side. No, I, no. no. Chewy. I don't know where we're gonna park, dude. We gotta find. This is home plate. This is where the office is. What are you saying, Chewy? I gotta. Chewy's gotta find a place to park the Falcon. The fastest hunk of junk in Denver. Galaxy. Denver. Oh, oh the Denver. Galaxy. You're right. 
Under 12 parsecs. Not if you round down. You're getting a lot of people looking at you while you're you driving. Think so? Yeah, oh yeah. You think so? <laughs> yeah, might as well show the football stadium also. And yeah, we're gonna drop this car off. And I'm being told we're gonna take another mode of transportation. Another trans, I don't know what it's gonna be, but another mode of transportation. What do you got in mind? What are you thinking? Well, I'm thinking we take something with a little more style. What do you think? We both gonna fit? Yeah, we're both gonna fit. How fast that thing go? As fast as you want it to go. I'm down. Oh, that's smart. Can I put a layer in the tires? Just wanna check them. I usually don't have a passenger. You usually ride alone, right? Sorry. Can't be too careful. Hey, I knew you'd like that idea. I gotta get something out of the house. I'll be right back. All right. I am stoked. Man, this is gonna be good. I was hoping he'd bring this up. Ooh, the wind in my hair. I gotta say, how much farther is this place? It's about six and a half more miles. We're almost there. I hated that. I thought you knew what we were gonna ride. I wanted to ride in the buggy. Well, why didn't you say so? I thought you wanted to ride the bike. I thought you wanted the bike. You wanted to do the bike. Oh, like I wanted to ride a two-seater bike six miles. So you wanted to ride in the buggy and not the bike? I did it because I thought you wanted to ride on it. <sighs> Can we go on the buggy? Let's, let's just take the buggy. All right, let's take the buggy. I feel a little more comfortable in here than I did on the back of the Tampa bike. Then we're in a doom buggy, baby. Give me some. All right. I wish I knew originally you wanted to take the doom buggy. I don't want to talk I thought about you wanted I don't want to, to talk about it. famous tiny town and railroad. See all the tiny houses over in there. It actually is a tiny town. I see where they get the name. It's a tiny town. It's not just a, it's not just a clever, clever name. Take a train to Tiny Town. Ooh, classic car alert. Classic truck alert. That's nice. Look at that. That's a nice old Chevy. Hey, you parked right next to it. Very classic nice. cars. Classic cars alerts. <laughs> classic car alerts. I'm pretty excited about this train. You can see it going it by. Out. Yeah. Well, there comes the train right there. He's backing it up. Yeah. You think they're done for the day? I hope not. I hope not too. If it is, then what are we gonna do? There's also a real train He's car. Right, now. right there. The day. Oh, we missed the train ride. Okay, so keep in mind, if you come to Tiny Town, after 3.30, the train stops running. See it? I think he's gonna come up top here. Oh, he is. There, I see it moving right there. Oh, it's the last, I see it. Yeah, you see the caboose backing up. So it looks very similar. The seat arrangement's a little bit different, but very similar to the size of the one at Griffith Park, the live steamers at Walt's Barn, adjacent to Walt's Barn. Yeah, he's parking it for the eve. Couple engineers on it. I think it's a 15 inch rail, is what this ride for. There it comes. Hello. There it is, there's the little miniature train station. Almost like dollhouse sizes, but like a little bit bigger than dollhouse size. Oh, 
So this gives a good correlation. This gentleman standing in front of that house is almost the same height as the house. The Adams ha family house. This mansion is a spire dedicated to Charles Adams and delight. The delightfully macabre and devilishly fun cartoon of like millions through the years. That's awesome. Look at this. The Adams family house. Look at this. Zoom in down here at this basement cellar window. Yeah. There's hands trying to bust trying the Trying to get out. Bars open down there. You see them? Oh, way down there way at the bottom. There. Yeah. See the hands? Look at these. Hey, here's cases. Morticia right there. That is awesome. We're in an elevation of 6,812 right now. The Mile High City. Oh, there's even ones up of the train still. Like, he's like teasing us over there. The train just pulling away. Back and around the whole place. Denver City, 1860. Tiny town or bust. Oh yeah. Argo Mine, that's up in Idaho Springs. That's a real gold mine. Oh look, they're putting it in the station over here. Oh, they're nice. putting it away. I think he really wants us to take us around the Grand Circle Tour. I know. Private, private ride. Well, when you pulled up, he saw your car and he like gave you a little it's train great. honk. Man, I love trains. I would have loved on that miniature train, but you know what? It'll be here. Tiny Town Tribune. Mrs. Some Murphy. of them are just to look at from the outside, but look at this one. This one's outside and inside. Oh, you can look in the window there. Yeah. It's kind of tough to see with the sun glare. Gump glass. Soapy Smiths probably get cleaned up in there. See the face on the bar room floor. It's very tough to see, but there is a face on the bar room floor, right down there. Look, he's just teasing us with that train horn. There's a lot of dolls out in there too. Oh, there he goes, look. Oh, they leave the train out. They just put the train cars away. Dang. Harley Davidson. Laundry company, oil company. This is amazing. How long has this place been open? Do you have any recollection? I have never heard an opening date. Long time. They're playing Chaplin. <laughs> oh, the Majestic. The Ma Good movie. Majestic. Jim Carrey. Let's see what's inside this. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, there's a bunch of characters down in there. Bullwinkle, Tasmanian Devil, Pluto, all watching the movie inside the theater itself. Oh, you're sitting on a tiny bench. A tiny bench in tiny town. A rooming house. I feel so good in the shade. Monkey in the classroom. This place just goes on and on. Really neat. Oh, is this American Gothic? It is. The American Gothic house. Yeah, look at that. So there's the photo of the husband and wife, the farmer, the farmer's wife right here. This is the American Gothic house, a recreation of it. A little greenhouse here with a flower shop. Robinson's flower shop. The pleasant Park School. Save Tiny Town, have fun, but please do not click, do not climb on, sit on, hit, or kick the buildings. There's the clubhouse. Got some eyes up there, someone's watching us through the foliage here of the trees. Plenty of shade. Plenty of shade through this section. Train's been running since the 40s. Wow. Oh. Look at this. Whoa. Mickey was here, number nine. Mickey Mouse was at 
tiny town in 89. Look at that. What's two and That's three? That's interesting. I wonder why Mickey was here. 89. It's the opening of MGM Studios. I wonder if Eisner was here too. The Eisner era. 21 miles from the heart of Denver. U.S. Highway 285 where you can ride the smallest train in the Rockies to the smallest town in the world. White Fence Farm. Chicken. Built from original blueprints. Reduced to scale. It's also interesting how some of them have little fences around them and some of them don't. Like this here. Adam's family house was awesome. Not to take anything away from how great all these other ones are, but man, I was not expecting to see the Adam's family house. This whole church is cool. There's the Home Depot. Buildings. I guess if you take the train through Tiny Town, there's like other buildings you can't see on the rails that aren't in through the walkthrough. There's a lot in the walkthrough. As best I can tell, this is the one from 89. You got the photo of Mickey. Oh yeah, right here. So they had painted that, so that's why it kind of threw me off till I got closer. Where he carved his name in the concrete here. 1989, right there. Look at that. Tiny town. You got the depot, the gift shop, and refreshments over there. All aboard the tiny town and railroad, Colorado. And there's also this one. So they were established in 1915, so they are 108 years old. Alright, the train conductor is driving the classic truck. Oop. And he said that was not a steam train. He said, in fact, steam trains run on the weekend. So if you're here on a Saturday or Sunday, they drive the steam train. So that was just an electric? Diesel. Diesel. on the National Register. First authentic adobe replica of Bent's Old Fort that was established in 1833 along the Santa Fe Trail in Southern Colorado. The replica was built in 1963. Pretty dang cool.
on a tandem. Yeah, he's doing it the right way, going. He has non, nobody belly aching behind him. Non tandem. Right there, non tandem. Non -tandem. That's how a bike should be ridden. Single rider? Single rider. Single rider. Throw back to your chewy earlier. Bikes were made to be ridden solo. <laughs> nice pun intended. We are both in the mood for sushi. So we're gonna go to this Japanese cuisine place called Orion Sushi. Get some rolls. All right, starting off with some miso, some edamame, and some steamed rice. Let me go with a little edamame here and a little miso action. And this is what we're dealing with for the table. We got two rainbow rolls. We got one Philly roll, and this is a spicy tuna. Spicy tuna. Spicy tuna right over there. And of course, the edamame and all that. But yeah, they serve it all on one plate. Two rainbow rolls. And I will say it came out pretty quick, and it looks uh, very, it looks very ap uh, not appetizing, but just very uh, beautiful the way they have the arrangement kind of set up. Up. There's a little plant over here. You can see the sign right there. The Giz World of Ice Cream. Next to McGill's curbside and McGill's Wholesale. McGill's World of Ice Cream. All right, I think that's gonna do it for today. Very full day. It's now raining. I'm in a classic bug, buggy, dune buggy. And I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is, is over. Hey, now that we're back, you want to take this? You want to take this back out for a spin? No, no, and no.